or, you know, it would probably be three, four times a week. She jogged down the street. For the first time, we are hearing from the man who believes he could be the last person to have seen Molly Tibbetts before her mysterious disappearance. In an exclusive interview with ABC News, Devin Riley says the University of Iowa student went jogging past his house about 8 p.m. July 18th. She jogged down the street, up the hill, and uh, you know, it was just nothing of it until I heard somebody was missing, and then it like really hit me, and it's like I haven't seen that runner since then. He called the police with the tip after seeing her picture on the news. Law enforcement would not confirm or comment about any potential witnesses. But Riley says he was questioned by investigators, who he says also conducted a thorough search of his home. They were really polite and didn't assume, I don't think. And uh, they just did their walking around out in less than 10, 15 minutes. So. The three-week search for the 20-year-old growing more desperate. Authorities sifting through towering cornfields and nearby farms. Still no sign of Molly. A reward now topping $300,000 for information leading to her safe return. <laughs> this video is believed to show Tibbetts the day before she went missing, showing off her magnetic personality, loved ones described, and beaming smile. All painfully missed in the small town of Brooklyn, Iowa, where everyone knows each other. It's gut-wrenching to know that, you know, I could have my daughter out here and I go inside for a minute and she could be gone. You just do not expect it from a town like this. And Riley says he originally reached out to investigators on Facebook and that a number of his co-workers have also been questioned. Law enforcement sources tell us that they've conducted more than 200 interviews so far in this case. Still no sign of Molly. We have to keep in mind, this is one of just many, yes. many, many, many missing people out there. Absolutely. The thing, though, with this community, it's just it's devastated the community so much because yeah. it's so small and mm -hmm. tight-knit. Um, and people coming together trying to make something happen. Yeah, yeah. Thank really you. bonding together over this. Definitely. All right. Thank you, Lynn.